Now, of the 50 cocoa-producing countries in the world, four African countries, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Nigeria and Cameroon, currently provide more than 70% of world supply. However, these countries don't control cocoa prices. Joining us now live from Gabon to discuss the region's cocoa industry is Jean-Louis Bailon, who is the Minister of Commerce for Côte d'Ivoire. Jean-Louis, thank you so much for joining us. So should I say merci beaucoup? Merci. Thank you. Jean-Louis, uh, let's start off by taking a look at the trends with regards to uh, Gabon's cocoa production. I understand that you guys want to upscale this uh, a tad. How are you going to do so? Uh, regarding ga Gabon production, you said? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, G Gabon is a small uh, pro producing country in cocoa. Uh, uh, but uh, the cocoa uh, market is getting more and more interesting because of the lack of supply uh, and uh, the increase in demand. So uh, Gabon, even though is a, is, 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 is a small player in, uh, in cocoa, uh, diversifying its uh, economy, uh, cocoa could be uh, an interesting um, uh, industry for, for Gabon. Uh, especially in this region, the cocoa flavor is uh, uh, very demanded. and. Uh, uh, I think they, they already have a, a very, very small industry, uh, but they can uh, uh, look at cocoa as um, um, a product for the future. You mentioned there that there is a lot of demand. How are you hoping to increase supply, in particular uh, uh, from Gabon? Um, well, from, from Gabon is going to be difficult because, as I said, uh, Gabon is a very, very small player in, in cocoa. Uh, but um, uh, the demand of cocoa is increasing in the world. Uh, as you know, uh, the Asian countries are consuming more and more cocoa and also uh, Eastern Europe uh, are uh, producing more and more uh, chocolates. Uh, today, uh, the, pro the, the global production of uh, cocoa is uh, just above uh, 4 uh, million uh, metric tons, um, but the consumption is much higher than that. So the, the future uh, in world price looks good, uh, but the problem in the industry is uh, for producing countries uh, is that uh, with about a more than 100 billion uh, US uh, total sales in the chocolate industry, only 10% goes to a cocoa producing countries, especially African countries. So we have to add more value um, by processing more and more uh, of our cocoa in the future. And I think for Gabon, um, which as I said, is a small uh, producing country today, uh, increasing their production uh, is entering this uh, period of uh, good prospect in prices. So uh, as they will increase their production, they will have to match also uh, the grinding uh, of their cocoa uh, to add directly uh, the uh, value to its cocoa production. Jean-Louis, you mentioned there that uh, the increasing value is a major challenge. Will the four African countries look to work together to be able to take on this challenge? Well, that's why we are uh, united here in, in, in Gabon in the uh, Cocoa uh, uh, Producing Countries Alliance. Uh, and we want to, to look at the future uh, and, and, and make a, a brighter future for the cocoa producing countries. Uh, today, most of the grinding is done uh, in the US, uh, in Europe. Um, even uh, Cote d'Ivoire, which is the, the world largest um, producing country, uh, grinds only uh, one third of its production, even less than that. Uh, so we need to go above 50%, 70% and uh, probably 100% uh, in the future and not exporting raw beans but uh, butter, uh, mass or powder. And this is uh, going to be our objective for the future. How are you going to do that Jean-Louis? Oh, just ask uh, uh, the industry to, to, to grind more and more. Uh, the thing is, uh, for the time being, our economies are not competitive enough to attract uh, the grinding industry in our countries. 
but we are working on that, on, on that. and we have uh, in mind uh, that we have to, to, to improve the competitiveness of our economies uh, to make sure that grinding becomes uh, inevitable in, um, um, in Cote d'Ivoire or Ghana or uh, here in Gabon. Is skills development uh, another key area of focus for the cocoa companies that are being represented at the conference? Uh, could you repeat please? Is skills development another key area of focus for the cocoa industry? I, 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 don't, I don't hear very well. Apologies Jean Pil Jean Is what? Is skills development yeah, within the, the cocoa the line industry? Is skills development? Uh, yes, yes, uh, in the industry of course. Uh, it goes through education, um, being familiar with the, the, the industry, and, um, uh, but it's a basic uh, industry for the time being. When we t talk about grinding, uh, it's something that uh, we have already implemented in most African countries. Uh, so it's uh, not as complex as going through the chocolate industry. Uh, going through the chocolate industry is more uh, difficult for us because to meet uh, the consumer demand um, it's a delicatessen so uh, it's different from countries and continent to continent uh, and um, uh, we're not going to, to, to have uh, uh, the complete chocolate line uh, except for our own small consumption uh, but uh, grinding is not um, do, does not demand a higher uh, skill.